What is your favorite subject? Indeed, there is only one correct answer. So what is it? That's right, biology! You guys know what's up. And because your favorite subject is biology, you guys better be super excited and hyped for the next two weeks because it is the USA Biology Olympiad contest window. And I have to be timely with this video, dude. I'm doing it a whole day before the contest window opens. Well, honestly, like, you guys aren't really going to be taking it on the first day of the contest window. There's no way. If your teacher made you take it on the first day of the contest window, that'd just be sad. That's like cruel. You guys gotta expose your teacher for making you take it on the first day of the contest window. Hello everybody, I'm Karara, and today we're gonna be doing some USA Biology Olympiad tips because the contest window is opening in a day. So, let's get into it. So first off, like, how does the competition work? So basically, it's like, just like a normal Olympiad, except there's a couple of differences. So first off, it's for the shortest Olympiad, basically. 50 minutes, multiple choice, 50 questions. Now what's cool about this one is that they give you a pre-filled answer sheet with your ID number and your name on it and all you gotta do is bubble stuff in. So before you go into the contest, it might be nice to just know your ID number, just have it memorized because not only is that your login to the use of a website, but it also is gonna be used on your Scantron. So just know your ID number. Basically when you registered, you should have gotten an ID number that's like a really long number. There is some like method to the madness, but I don't really know what the method to the madness is. So yeah, just memorize that and then before you go into the test. And then you might be asking, Come on, Usable already makes me memorize 600 million things. Why do you have to make me memorize one more thing? Well guess what, I'm gonna make you memorize like 600 more things. Let's get into what you gotta do, but right before the Usable. So, as expected, I got this thick, big boy, amazing Campbell Biology, Biology Bible right here. And basically, this is all you gotta study for the youth about open exam. Honestly, if you're trying to study other places, you're probably just wasting your time because everything you need is right in here. And if you read through this boy, you automatically get to the next... Oh, fine. You gotta, like, memorize a little bit of it, but, like, just reading through this and memorizing some of the important stuff is gonna get you to the next level. Oh, bro, it's not even in focus. See, look, look at this beautiful thing. It's, like, shiny. It's beautiful. So anyways, now that the co uh, competition is coming up, hopefully you've read through the whole book beforehand because you're not reading through the whole book in two weeks. Not happening. <laughs> Bro, my school's doing it on the last day of the two week window and still, there's no way I'm gonna read this whole thing before then. So hopefully you read through the whole thing, but there's some certain things that you could memorize that are really good to memorize at the very end because they're super memorization intensive and not really conceptually based. So let's get into what you gotta memorize. All right, let's open this boy. This feels like an unboxing video or something. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through chapter by chapter, explain what the things you gotta memorize are, and hopefully this is helpful. I may or may not put all this in the description, so keep track of it, okay? All right, chapter one, pretty useless. Chapter two, you, hopefully you've taken chemistry and that this is not that hard, but something that you might wanna know is the order of elements in the human body, like from most abundant to least abundant, okay? Knowing the pH of a lot of important stuff is also useful, so you can like order which one comes first in the pH scale. There's like a good diagram in the book for that. Okay, functional groups. You gotta know your functional groups. Look at this beautiful thick diagram. Oh yeah. Oh, you can't even see it. Uh, uh, is it pro- No, they're not gonna work. I'll put it on the screen, don't worry. So memorize your functional groups because that comes up quite a bit. And then you gotta know like all your important big bio-macromolecules, like you gotta know your the carbohydrates, you gotta know your protein, the clay acids, and lipids. Okay, very important, you got to know your amino acids. Yes, I don't know why I did the accent, but you gotta know your amino acids. Like, literally, this is so important on the test because basically they give you like five options of amino acids and you have to choose the right answer. Literally, sometimes, majority of the time, you don't even need to read the questions if you know the amino acids. You basically find which one is the odd one out. So for each amino acid, you gotta know it's like hydrophobicity, it's abbreviation, all that good stuff. And then you also gotta make sure that you know it's structure. That's not as important, but if you know it's structure, it could help a lot. I did make a video on this, so a really long time ago. So if you wanna like memorize it easier, like I gave you all of my tricks in that other video, so go check it out. Okay, memorizing basic like size distribution, like what like approximate unit length each thing is, like how big a ribosome is, how big a mitochondrion is, like relative size is good. Oh yes, we're here to the epic stuff. Okay, now we get to the actually memorization intensive nonsense, respiration. Well, I mean the respiration chapter, not necessarily just respiration. You gotta memorize glycolysis, you gotta, you gotta memorize the Krebs cycle, and you guys gotta memorize the electron transport chain. All the steps of it, all the enzymes, how much ATP, how much NADP, or you know what, NADP plant, how many NADH, all that good stuff. This was my favorite part to mem, no it wasn't, it really wasn't, but like, you gotta know it. It shows up 
it's pretty consistently on the test, so just spend the time to memorize it right before the contest. Memorize the electromagnetic spectrum, don't forget. Electron transfer chain in plants. Calvin cycle, another cycle for you to memorize, gonna be very fun. No, I have in the new state of mitosis. And meiosis, of course, like, don't forget meiosis, come on. Types of viruses are very, also very important. Bruh, dude, I just study all this for science bowl, and that's coming up in a week. Dang, I'm just realizing how much stuff I don't know, shoot. Ah, ah. But honestly, like, all this stuff is pretty useful for science bowl, so it's a good thing we're going over it right now. Okay, this is not really a memorization thing, this is more of a conceptual thing, but memorize how Hardy Weinberg works, so that shows up a lot. Geologic time scale, there's one really big geologic time scale in the book, it has a lot of information. Just gonna memorize all the things that happened in which period when. So like for example, in the Devonian, you got diversification of bony fishes, first touch pod and insects appear. You probably wanna know this in order. There's one really good mnemonic, it's like, cows often sit down carefully, perhaps their joints creak, persistent early oiling may prevent painful rheumatism. And that basically gives you the order of all the periods and the epochs. But that doesn't help you memorize like what happened in each epoch, so that you actually gotta do on your own. Sorry about that. Phylogeny. Everyone just likes skipping the phylogeny chapters because it seems irrelevant and it's not taught in AP Bio, but it's actually three points, okay? All you have to do is know basically what each thing is, and then you're automatically guaranteed like an additional two points on the exam. Like, all you gotta do is know what they look like. It's not that hard. There's like a lot of phylogeny though. There's like bacteria phylogeny, protist phylogeny, animal phylogeny, uh, plant phylogeny. The most important ones are animal and plant, but Bacteria is next, but protists is like pretty much useless. You gotta know a couple of protists, like the important ones are nucleares, which are like relatives of fungi, and then the coanoflagellates, which are relatives of animals. Well, fungi phylogeny is like decently relevant, so you might want to memorize that a little bit. Just like review it really quick before the contest. Okay, remember layers of the plant, because that, that actually shows up, and you gotta know it very well, because if you get one thing switched, you're automatically gonna lose a point, and it sucks so much. When you're like, I know everything but these two, and then you put one of the answers and you realize right after, bro, it should have been the other one. Plant hormones, also very important, like you gotta know auxins, gibberell, and cytokinins, epsisic acid, you gotta know what all of them do to a pretty like specific degree because it asks pretty specific questions about that. Also, you should know how like long day and short day plants work and how the hormones work in that. Blood flow through the human body, important. Like you go from your right atrium to your right ventricle to your pulmonary artery to your pulmonary vein. I mean to your lungs, to your pulmonary vein, so on and so forth, that kind of thing. The order things go through in the kidney. All the important parts of the brain. And that includes what hormones they secrete, what they do, and all that good stuff. Now, animal reproduction isn't that important, and I know you guys want to, like, go look at all the naked people in there because you're immature and are trolls and you know what I'm saying, but not that important. So, unless you just want to see naked people, then there's no point in reading that. Actually, there's some, like, questions about the hormonal control of reproduction, so you might want to read about that. Differences between protostomes and deuterostomes. That's an important one to make the connection between because... They sometimes have really specific questions on that. Stages of an action potential. Signal transduction in your sensory organ, like what happens in your ear, how did that get to your brain, like what about your nose, all that good stuff. And then for ecology, basically the only thing you got in mem is biomes, so that should be chill. All right, Epic, we flipped through the whole book, and that is basically all the last minute studying that you should do. Hopefully you've read the rest of the book. This is by no means everything that's gonna be on the test. This is only the things that I suggest that are crammable before the test. That means that everything else you guys just gotta know off the top of your head and you guys gotta have this like conceptual understanding down. All right, so now you've crammed the heck out of this book and you're ready to go. You go into your classroom, you take the test and basically what you gotta do is you gotta spend minimum amount of time in each question because you supposed to basically you know it or you don't, right? So if you don't know it, just move on. The only thing that might take a while is like Hardy Weinberg questions or like pedigree questions. Those are kind of annoying, but like on those, just come back to them later because there's no point wasting your time and like potentially missing a question later so just skip the pedigree questions and things that are taking a lot of time and then come back to them later 50 minutes really isn't that much time so really be careful with your timing and like spending one too much time on one question is super super costly and usable because every point counts and like just spending an extra minute already takes away a whole minute from the rest of your like 30 questions that you had to do. Alrighty, that's basically all I got. Hopefully this was helpful. Good luck guys. I believe in you. You guys are gonna do great. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Let me know if you guys want more tips on usable or specific like things that you guys want videos on. Just let me know. Thank you guys for watching again and see you guys next time.